But when it says do not eat haram meat, do not drink alcohol, you know, watch, lower your gaze, be just. So whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells him is aql follows. So, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us this aql, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us uh, Quran and Rasulullah and Ahlul Bayt, ajma'in. So we have to use our aql and wisdom to get, uh, to understand and, and follow. I'll give you some, some simple definition of aql, what is, what is really aql means. Imam Ali has said, you know, taqawullah, taqawullah kull hal. Aql means that in all situations to have taqwa. Or Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, Alhamdulillah kulli hal. Right? Is that easy, right? You understand that? It's easy, right? You know, not complicated. Taqawallah kulli hal. Alhamdulillah kulli hal. Right? That's aql. If we have aql in our situations, we say, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. If we have aql in our situations, we follow the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As simple as that. This is this is the, this is what the real aql is. So Allah subhanahu wa taala, I mentioned a little bit that you know this this we can you, we can see we can hear we can read uh, and you know we can study all of these things b because of what Allah the faculty that's given us. We have to use them, and this is zakat of our aql. Our zakat of our aql is to study Qur'an, to understand Qur'an, and to follow Qur'an. You know, the people who go to, f uh, to fire, is sur you know, Surat al-Mulk, you know, we're supposed to read him. Uh, you know, it's very highly recommended to read every night. It's not just a reading, understanding. The people who go to the fire, وَقَالُوا لَكُنَّا نَسْمَعُوا أَوْ نَعْقِلُوا مَا كُنَّا فِي If we would have listened and we would have used our aql, we would not be in the fire of hell. So the people who do not use their wisdom, hikmah, they do not use their faculty of understanding and you know, they waste their time, they do not spend, uh, learn the Arabic Quran, what happens is they're gonna end up out of Allah in the fire. And so everybody admits that, that we did not use our aq, we did not use the, them. So when, you know, um, uh, m you know, most of the times uh, we only read Quran, but we do not understand Quran because we don't listen to Quran. You know, actually Quran tells us, you know, to Iqra, isma, read, and then listen. Listening is not that easy. It's not that simple. It's not simple that, you know, I just listen, but did it go in my soul? Then it's ifham, understand, ifham. Iqra, isma, ifham, wa amal, amalan salihan. And do amal salih. Ba amal amal salih. Do amal salih. Or you know, iqra, isma, ifham, wa antiqu mimma razaqnaakum. Read, listen, understand, and spend the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or you know, iqra, ifham, isma. اقرأ اسم افهم وأتي الله وأتي الرسول وأول الأمر منكم. So all of these things requires us to uh, to use our faculty. Your yeah, Imam Ali Aisha has said, the one who who does tafakkur, he sees the truth. The tafakkur is very important that we need to to contemplate about verse of Quran. You know, you know, we need to like like a um, verse of Quran and uh, 
you know, and look at, you know, how many times, for, for example, hikmah is used, the Quran. You know, like, about, about, about like 210 times hikmah in Quran is used. You know, um, in the Quran, um, over 3,000 times Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioned. Over 3,000 times Allah is mentioned. Nearly about 1,000 times Rabb is mentioned. So if you want to say, uh, Quran says, فَأَلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ If you want to know the meaning of La إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ You have to know all these verses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mention. That is the entire Quran. You know, after Allah, then Rab, but the next is mentioned, Amana, Iman. 912 plus of the Quran is about Iman. After that comes Ilm. About 780, something like that, verse like Ilm is mentioned. Kuf, nearly about like 440, 450 times in the Quran, Kuf mentioned. So if you want to know the meaning of Kuf, if you want to know the Arabic Kuf, you need to know all those verses. If you need to know the meaning of Iman, you need to know all those verses about Iman that Allah subhanahu wa mentioned. This is what Arabic Quran is. You know. You know. And so, th so this let's just give you a little bit, uh, gi give you a little idea that, you know, uh, that how uh, this, uh, how deep is Quran is, is Arabic Quran is, how, how we need to, um, to, uh, to that. Some of the, uh, some of the verses of Quran that, you know, uh, that, uh, we need to understand, uh, if you use our aql is, like, you know, one is, for example, بَمَا إِنَّ اللَّهِ خَيْرٌ بَأَبْقَى بَاللَّهُ خَيْرٌ بَأَبْقَى You know, the, the, so these, like, you know, these, we can talk about, you know, just, just a khayr. You know, we say, you know, say, اللَّهُمْ أَنْتَ الْخَيْرْ بَمِنْكَ الْخَيْرْ بَلَكَ الْخَيْرْ بَلَكَ يَعُودُ الْخَيْرْ all the khayrat comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All the source of goodness is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is khayr, biyadika khayr. Say, Allahumma biyadika khayr. In your hands, you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all good. So all of these things shows that, you know, if we, um, if we use our aql and uh, learn the Arabic Quran, and if we are with Arabic Quran, we have aql. If we are not with Arabic Quran, we do not have aql. We don't have aql. So that's that's a real simple, simple. So we need to make always connection to uh, to to uh, to Quran, and study Quran the way Quran is to be studied. You know, the, the you know study the Quran. Our, our ulama said there's just two ways of study of Quran. One is that you study Quran by uh, by surah. Another way of studying the Quran is by finding out, for example, one verse of the Quran. And then you, then you do search in the entire, entire Quran to find out how many, for example, how many times Elm is mentioned, how many times, uh, you know, um, Kof is mentioned. And then you study all those verses of the Quran about Kof and whatever subject. You study, then you go through all those verses, then that is a real study of the Quran. Simple reading of Quran is not reading of Quran. And that's something that most of the time we all do. We just simply read Quran and, you know, uh, and we start reading it and we finish it and nothing changes. Nothing changes. We won't change because we have not read Quran. You know, we read something that we didn't understand it. We read something that did not sink into our mind. So this, this is something that, you know, we need to uh, to pay close attention when it comes to, to Arq. I'll give you some uh, hadith, you know, and then you will get, inshallah, get some idea that, you know, uh, if we have, you know, Arq or not, we don't have Arq. What are the things that makes our Arq to become weak, you know? 
مگه از افول عقل what are the, the things that makes our act become weak and, and or destroys our act gives our act one is hawaya nafs you know wala tattabil hawa fa yuzillaka an sabilillah you know ya dawud inna ja'alnaka khalifatan fil ard fahkum bayna an-nas bil haqq wala tattabil hawa fa yuzillaka an sabilillah inna alladhina yuzilluna an sabilillah lahum adhab shadid wa bimun nasu yamal hisab when we obey our 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 hawaya nafs our worst enemies are hawaya nafs and that's what called jihad al akbar once we obey our hawaya nafs then this hawaya nafs takes us from the path of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala away and make us to forget maut forget yamul uh, jaza their judgment and makes us to, to forget the commands of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes us you know i- even we may offer salat sometime we don't know even we are in first rakat or second rakat or we are in second rakat or third rakat if we offer four rakat we offer two rakat you know when we when our we do not possess our aql is like that you know uh, you know so you know ulul albab or on top of ulul albab those are the one who possess their their brain and the front lobe of their brain is open and they can with this have then they have basirat understanding and and you know uh, so when we obey allah uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala we have basirat when we obey our evil nafs it's gone it goes away so this is really it, the, the number one danger is hawaiian nafs and you know i, I mentioned that hawaiian n- nafs is a being that's connected to us okay yeah is we all have a, a, this evil nafs that's connected to us and um, you know it's with you 24 hours a day you can get rid of them it's always with you it's connected to, lo- to your lo- left shoulder and all it has like a, it's got just a, got a head and it just constantly looks at you and reads your mind and then talks into your ears put things in your mind against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's 24 hours there with you and so you have to you have to be sincere 100% in obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to defeat him. So that's number one. The next enemy that we have is, is uh, uh, shaitan. Inna shaitana aduwwa lakum fattakhifu aduwwa. This is what we call khannas. He said, well, I will be rabbi nas, malakin nas, ilahi nas. And shaitan was so khannas is that. So the khannas that we're trying to get, save ourselves from khannas. Then is is Quran talks about uh, uh, shaitan. Inna shaitan aduwa lakum fattakhifu aduwa. You know, uh, that's another uh, um, enemy that we have is uh, munafiqin and kuffar. Munafiqin and kuffar. And they, uh, they, uh, if you listen to them, they misguide us. You know. یعنی که نبی تقو الله و لا تو تل کافرین و المنافقین قرآن you know, again, the Quran, Quran tells us about that thing another thing that makes us to, uh, to, to weaken our عقل is a long wish list if we have you know sometimes we get our mind goes in that you know I want to have a, this property I'm going to have a, this this one, I'm gonna have a big uh, office, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do this. The you know, there never ends. Our wish list always continues on. So that, you know, that also weakens our, our aql. Um, another thing that makes our aql to become weak is to have uh, bad friends. Do not be associated with bad friends. The, the bad friends, they, they will make our act to go 
you know, or become weak. You know, because the bad friends, they always want to take us to, to the wrong path. You know, you know, one time I saw, uh, a, I think it was about like uh, two, 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 two people, the two young kids, uh, and they were discussing with each other. One kid was saying that let's go to the movie. And the other kid says, no, let's go to the masjid. So your good friends called you to come to the masjid. Your bad friends called you to go to the cinema, go to the go watch movie. And that's how you recognize who is your good friend, who is your bad friend. And you, you know, this you can be, you know, these are you can, you can, you see them there. So uh, that's why Allah Subhanahu wa Taala again, Quran comes in. Ya Allah, din amanu kunu ma sadiqin. You know, be with what? Sadiqin. Who are the sadiqin? Muhammad or Ali Muhammad? You know, Allah did you have the sitr and the sadaqa bihi? Ulai ki akhun muttaqun. Who brought the sitr? Set means that Quran. Who brought Quran? Rasulullah. Who testified to Quran? Amir al Mu'minin, alayhi salatu wa salam. You know, be with Sadiqin, Unuma Sadiqin. The Quran talks about that. The next thing that uh, makes our uh, aql uh, to weaken is arrogance. Arrogance, arrogance, arrogance. Sometimes we become arrogant because we think we know it all. You know, don't tell me anything. I already know everything. You know, that's, or sometimes we think we are better than others. You know, one of the, one of the trademark of having aql is Whoever you see, say he is better than me. Can you do that? Every time you see anybody, even you see a prostitute, even you see somebody doing a sinful act, say, Ya Allah, please guide that person. He or she is better than me. And in reality, he or she may be better than you. Why? You know the truth, you do not follow it. But she doesn't know the truth. So she is better than you. She's better than me. I know Quran. I know the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But I disobey. But this lady poor prostitute, this uh, poor man, uh, he he hasn't read the Quran. He doesn't know about Quran. So if he commits the sin, he he's better than me. So in how we can, so have aql is like that. So have aql. So this is you know one of the what a tra trademark of aql is, is that. Another one that uh, weakens our aql is our jealousy. We become jealous which is against our own self. So jealousy, hasad. Hasad is, is not allowed in Islam. So if, 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 if somebody you see is better than you, announce that he's better than me. Alhamdulillah, this brother is another trait of Aqli is that if somebody is doing good, you praise him, uh, thank him, and let people know and or my brothers or so and so he did good, good this good act alhamdulillah but say salabat for him uh, you know encourage him and uh, that's that's hasad and the other one is uh, uh, greed health health what deceives us what makes us to sometimes to lie and cheat not the, tell the truth is it greed that causes us us you know uh, uh, you know, making more money, uh, buying some, something uh, cheap and selling it more, you know, 
sit in the house, but it's got some problems, not telling people, it's, you know, it's got a foundation problem. Or, or, or sit in a car, you know the car, the engine is bad. But you sell it, but you don't tell the guy the engine is bad. You hide. You hide the truth from somebody because of greed. You see, if I tell the truth to this guy, he will not buy my car, right? If you tell him the engine is bad, he's not going to buy your car. If you say my foundation is bad, he's not going to buy your house. So what do you do? You withhold information. That's not good. No, that, that's, that's, I mean, didn't see. Uh, so arrogance, jealousy, and, and greed are, 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 these are the things that, you know, that what it does, it make, make our, uh, our act to become weak. And then if our act is weak, then we are, you know, basically, we are very uh, easy to be misguided from the, from the right, right path, inshallah. Say salabat or alhamdulillah, Allah, mashallah, Allah. There are two, two hadiths, inshallah, I will share with you. One is from Imam Sadiq, alayhi wa sallam. Allah, mashallah, Allah, mashallah. One is Imam Sadiq, peace be upon him, alayhi wa sallam. He said that, you know, uh, we like to see our, our, our Shi'ayan, our Shi'as, our followers, to have eight characters. The first character is, you know, mankana aqilan, to be aqil. To be open, you know, we need to be as a follower of Ahlul Bayt, Salabatullah We need to be open. That means we need to be with Quran and Arabian. You know, we need to be with Quran and Arabian. That you know, we need to use, we need to use our uh, our, our, our intellect. You know, think, you know, and uh, and, and utilize our intellect and, and increase our, our knowledge. Uh, number two is, uh, you know, uh, be ahle fahm, uh, you know, uh, ahle dark. Uh, that means, you know, to uh, to see things and understand. Uh, you know, Quran talks about, you know, that banama khalaqta khalqa batil and subhanaka taqina azab al You know, no the purpose of why Allah created you. Why Allah created you? Why Allah created me? Why Allah created us? Know, for example, why Allah created the trees. What are the benefits of the trees? Why Allah created an ant? Why Allah created, for example, bee? We know about honey, for example. We know about asal, right? So we know a little bit about why Allah created asal. If, is it for 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 asal? Yeah. But you know, if there were there were there are, if there are no honeys, you won't have no fruits. For example. So you can so you can see that everything Allah subhanahu wa taala created is, is created for good reason. And he he has created us and guided us, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, to be with Quran, to be with Ahlu uh, Zik, Fasalu Ahlu Zik, in Kuntum La Talamun. In order to use our brain, we need to be with the people of understanding Ahlu Zik, which is again we go back there. Number three, uh, Imam said to be Fatiha, Fatiha means to be said in Farsi like a dindar bosh, dindar bosh. Means that every time you want to do something, analyze. Is this thing that I'm going to do is according to Quran, according to Islam, or is it against Islam? If the things that I want to say, but guess what, it is, uh, it is uh, uh, against Quran or is for Quran? If the thing that I'm going to say is going to hurt somebody or it's going to hurt his feeling or her feeling or I better to remain silent. 
You know, Imam Ali said, the people who are, have aql, they speak very little. They always stay silent in most situations. Sometimes you have to speak. If we speak the truth, you have to speak the truth, you have to tell them. But you know, uh, the, the more you talk, the more mistake you make. So that's one of the trademarks to, to have the uh, aql. The next one is have a helm. Helm. Helm means, you know, you, you say, you know, ajale nakon. That means, you know, do not rush. Do not rush things. Anytime you want to do something, anytime you want to buy something, if you want to marry someone, if you want to marry your daughter to someone, if you want to marry your son to someone, you know, do not rush that. You know, just, you know, do, do a search. Talk to people, find out is this a good idea to do. You know, if you if you want to buy a house, for example, get somebody to look at the house for you, look at the foundation, all the things. If you if there's medical issues, you go to a doctor. You know, if if there's a religious question, go to a alim that you trust and ask him those questions. So everything that you do, we should not rush into that. We need to, you know, to study and analyze, and 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 and, and you know, uh, think and, uh, and 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 then do make a right decision. The next one, the people who are aql, uh, we said in Farsi mudara, mudara dashte bosh. You know, uh, mudara means that you need to be, uh, you know, like the, the the parents, they need to be soft with their children. Do not be harsh with your children. Do not be real uh, strict to your children. Have understanding. You know, you are 40, 50 years old. Your child may be only 16 years old. Put yourself in the shoes of your son and daughter. What did you do when you were 16 years old? So understand what they're, where they're coming from, what they're saying to you. Never ever say to your children that if you do not do this, I'm going to kick you out of the house. Don't ever say that. Don't ever say to your children that, that if you do this, I'm going to kick you out of the house. And you know, if you do that, tell them, keep telling them, they're going to run away from your house. And you may not ever see them again. That's come from aql. You know, know how you teach, how you talk to your children. Know how you talk to your wife, to your husband. You know, this all comes from, you know, um, to having this thing there. You know, you, you, you know, if you are a boss, you need to be understanding with your workers. If you're a husband, have understanding uh, to your wife. If you're a wife, have understanding to your husband. Put your shoes in their shoes, you know. And these are these are the things that all come from uh, having modara, uh, that you need to be soft and understanding with the people that you come in, in contact. The next one is sabra. A mom said to uh, you be you know sabra, you know in Allah you have sabirin, right? In Allah you have sabirin. So. Uh, so you need to you need to be sab uh, in uh, talk of Allah, sab uh, in that musiba when difficulty comes in, say musiba say Alhamdulillah kullaha, uh, you know Inna Lillah wa Inna Ilaihi Rajeeun, you know salat after salat fast, you know to so to get uh, you know uh, to have this sab. So at the time of difficulties, you have to be we have to be patient, be steadfast in obedience to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And number seven, Imam said, "Sadiq uh, bash, to be to be honest, be truthful, be truthful. Like, you know, in all situations, be a truthful person. And um, and number eight is uh, you know, wafa dashte bash, wafa be ahd. If you sign a contract, follow the term of contracts." If you tell somebody you're going to do something, 
do that thing. Don't say inshallah and do not do that. Whatever promises you make to somebody, you have to fulfill that promise. These are the eight uh, characters uh, of the people that uh, Imam said that you know our followers, we'd like him to have them. The next one, uh, inshallah, I said that is from Imam Reza. You know, so Imam said, Imam Reza, peace be upon him, said that your aql is not complete unless you have these ten characters. One is that, you know, be a person of khayr. Yusareuna bil khayrat. Always rush to doing good deeds. You know, Allah subhanahu wa Quran says about Hazrat uh, uh, Yahya and, uh, and uh, his mother and his father, Hazrat uh, Zakaria, Aisatul Asalam. They were Yusareuna bil khayrat. They were always, uh, they were quick in doing a good deeds. They're doing a good deeds. Number two is uh, the people who have aql, they don't hurt anybody. They don't hurt anybody, they don't hurt anything. Uh, uh, there is no care uh, uh, from them. You know, all of the Sallallahu Alaihi al Muslimu and Salam al Muslimuna, Melisani, Bayadeh. Muslim, the real Muslim is the one that everybody is safe from his hand and his tongue. Man Salma Mukhani Bayadeh, right? So we need to always make sure that we do not hurt anybody. We do not hurt the feelings of the people. We do not hit anybody. You know. You know, we are not allowed to kill ants. We are not allowed to kill animals. We do, are not allowed to cut the trees. Everything that we see in, in there has to be safe from our hands and our, our tongue. You know, when we say, Salam, Assalamu Alaikum, Alaikum Salamatu Barakatu, that means that I'm giving you Salam because you're safe from me. You will not gonna he, he, you, you won't have no harm from me. That's what the, one of the meaning of salam is that. Um, number three, I mentioned that you know if somebody does good, announce it and encourage him to do good. One of the things that's really bad, and and we are told that you we will be punished if somebody does good in the community. Do not stop that person from doing, from doing good. If somebody is helping the masjid, if somebody is cleaning, if somebody is volunteered, he's here all the time, does good work. Uh, if somebody goes get the food, if somebody, you know, uh, uh, cleans the masjid, cuts the grass, whatever they do, whatever good anybody does, do not stop him from doing good, what they're doing because of your jealousy. Do not be jealous of them. So never ever stop somebody from doing good because if you stop him, he may go and he may not come back. Some people come, they don't come back to the masjid anymore. Because you hurt their feelings and you stop them because of the jealousy of somebody or a couple of people, then they go and they never come back. So this is another one that you know we should not do. Number four is that whenever you do good deeds, do it in, in a secret or do not announce it in s most situations and keep it, you know, low. Have a, have a low, low profile there is that. Number five is never become tired of people asking you for their needs. Uh, those people who have aql, uh, you know, you know, you know. When uh, I give you an example, you know, you know, Quran says, you know, man 
وَالَّذِي يُقْرِضُ اللَّهَ قَرْزًا حَسَنًا Allah says, who is there to give Allah a, a qarz of hasana? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has no need of qarz of hasana. But there are representatives of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the earth that you need qarz of hasana. Who are the representatives of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? The orphan. Orphan is representative of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yatim. Yatim is representative of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Miskin is representative of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Asir is representative of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your family members need help. You give a qarz hasana to them. As if you have given a qarz hasana to who? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's a real meaning of Qarz Hasana. Man, the lady, Yukrizullah, Qarzan Hasana. So those needy represent Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the earth and you are being tested. Are you going to help them or you're not going to help them? Are you going to give a beautiful loan or not? Give? So this is, this is something that, so never become tired of uh, fulfilling the hajat, the needs of uh, uh, mardom. Chaste nasho as hajat mardom. Number six or six is, you know, hij moge chaste nasho as kasp elm. Do not ever get tired of seeking knowledge. From cradle to grave, we supposed to what? To seek knowledge. Once you say to yourself, I am tired of helping people. That's a really dangerous. I'm tired of reading the Quran. That's dangerous. Sometimes those thoughts come in our mind. I'm tired. Tell him I'm not here. You know, I'm tired of helping. Those are danger. So don't, don't become tired of seeking knowledge. And chastenashu as hajate mardom. Number seven, the people who have elm, they realize that elm is better than wealth. You know, indari as ثروت بهتر است. You know, if, if you have your religion, it's much, much better than having millions of haram money. That haram money is a curse. It becomes a fire in your belly. But having, you know, one dollar or five dollar one dirham or one dinar of halal earning is better than having thousands of millions of dirham and dinar of haram. So the, the, the people who have aql, aql, they see that and they, and they understand that. Thing. Number eight is uh, the people who are aql, Imam Reza said, they never submit to their enemies. Who did not submit to the enemy? Who did not submit to Yazid Lain? Imam Hussein. Alayhi salatu wa salam. If you want that means would never bow to the enemy of God, then even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look at Imam Hussein, look at Imam Ali, look at Imam Hassan, look at Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How they did not submit to the enemies. You know, the whole movement of Imam Hussein in some narrations and dua that we read is to keep, to save us from jahalat. Jahalat. 
you know, uh, our aql is you know khalilul mu'min. Al aql dalilul mu'min. Aql is you know the, our best friend is our aql. And anything that we do, the reason for we doing everything that we do is supposed to supposed to be aql, dalil. دليل المؤمن العقل دليل المؤمن العقل خليل المؤمن so this this is really that when it, the, the next thing is that um, these are you know they got so much the the people who are عاقل they never like to become معروف they do ندارن معروف باشن The more famous you are, the more enemies you have. You know, if you know, so it's always better not to be, be low key. If you're low key, you have less enemy. If you're low key, you have less people are jealous of you. You know, and sometimes we need to be careful. This again comes from Apple. Don't announce, for example, okay, you buy a big house or you go buy 100 acres of land. Don't announce to people that I bought it because all those people who hear it and they can't afford to buy that big house to buy that piece of land, they become jealous. So we got to be careful. This comes from the aql. That, you know, sometimes it's better to be low-key. Don't tell, you know, I've got this, I've got that, I've got this, I've got this, all these things. Just be low-key so the people who are below you, who cannot do that, they do not become sad. Why I don't have this, he's got this. Sometimes the people become, you know, uh, you know, little bit displeased. Allah subhanahu wa Allah give him this, and Allah has not given me that. You know, so there's something always care. So it's always better to be low key. You know, you know, some, you know, like uh, when a revolution happened in Iran, some of the people who were ma'roof after the revolution happened. They were all arrested. They were put in jail, this thing. But there's some people who played low key. You know, they kept you know, their wealth, their health. So there's a lot of wisdom. Never want to become, you know, uh, ma'roof. It's very important, you know. There's a lot of benefits there that you may, you may see it later on. Alhamdulillah, nobody knew who I am. I'm, I'm good, I'm low key. That's good, you know. You know, so that's what they, they said that. And the last one I mentioned before that Imam said that you know, هر کسی رو که می‌بینید بدونین و فکر کنید که اون از من بهتر است. هر کسی می‌بینه. Whoever you see in a street, you know, you see a beggar, you see somebody, you know, doing this or that, uh, and say, Ya Allah, please guide him. Uh, he is better than me. Do not say, oh, how stupid this person is. Uh, how this? No, no, don't do that. Just say, yeah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, please see this help, please, please guide this person. Because if you think that you're better somebody, then uh, this is, you know, where it comes from? Shaitan. Ana khayrum min khalaqtani min narim wa khalaqtahu min teen. The Quran, Shaitan says to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I am better than Adam because you created me from fire. You created him from clay. Clay soul. So then Allah says, uh, you know, uh, you know, فَإِنَّكَ رَجِيم Get out of here. You know, فَخْرُجْ مِنْهَا فَإِنَّكَ رَجِيم So this is really, so this, these are the aql. And then I finish with one Sayyidam Imam Hussein A.S. We are in Ayyam of as Imam, I said, Imam has said that 
لا یک ملول عقل الا تباع حق that you know your act will not become complete unless you follow the حق الا تباع حق so what begin again backs up to what to al haq ذلك بان الذين امروا تبع الحق من ربهم You know, who is Haq? Quran. Who is Haq? Muhammad. Who is Haq? Ahlul Bayt. Quran tells us that, you know. Instead of Muhammad. You know. So we need to obey Haq. If we want to become Aqil and if we want to have a complete wisdom and Aqil, this is the only way. وعطی الله وعطی رسول الله امر من کم it just goes, it goes back to that so inshallah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala utilize, make us to utilize our aql uh, make us to be with Quran and ahl al-Quran ahl al-Zikr always and we got the books we got you know usul kafi we got Quran we got natural balaga we got uh, uh, imam sajjad duas Uh, you know, we got all usul kafi, we got all of these things, and so we need to be with them individually. Individually, we need with them. We need with with them and learn the 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 aqla, aqla from them. So may Allah subhanahu wa taala um, help us in our situations have taqwa. In our situations, say Alhamdulillah kulla har, taqwa Allah kulla hal. And if we have that one, then we are agil. You know, if we are, we're going to be agil, that's real simple. Taqab Allah kullaha, alhamdulillah kullaha. So I think we can remember that, right? Alhamdulillah kullaha, taqab Allah kullaha. If you remember that, these two things, inshallah by grace Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are agil, inshallah. You say, you say agil, inshallah. Say salabad wa muhammad ala muhammad. اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد انك حميد مجيد اللهم اغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الاحياء منهم والاموات تابع بيننا وبين الخيرات انك مجيب الدعوات انك قاضي الحاجات انك غافر الخطيئات انك على كل شيء قدير اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد واغفر قلبنا ما انت اهله يا من يكفي من كل شيء ولا يكفي منه شيء اكفني ما اهمني if brothers and sisters have question inshallah inshallah I'll try to answer inshallah if not you know if all Muslims don't want to keep here then uh, uh, brother Hadi um, yesterday you mentioned the salat for children uh, for the children right um, somebody is asking if you can tell the niyah for that and then briefly explain uh, the namaz also quickly Yeah, the namaz, the two rakat namaz. Yeah, two rakat yeah. namaz. Yeah, this two rakat, there's two rakat namaz that is being narrated that Imam Sadiq, Imam Sadiq, salam, every day offer two rakat salat for his children and grandchildren to be protected and be, uh, be guided to be a good Muslim, have a good future, and to, to you know, you know, to... Inshallah, to die as a Muslim and go to Jannah. And this two rakat salat you can offer at any time. You can offer standing. You can offer sitting, for example. And uh, you can even offer it when you're driving. Uh, but the best thing is to stand. Uh, do it, you know. Uh, I do it after Maghrib, since I learned this thing. This two rakat is you know, is that in Surah Hamd, Surah Inna Anzalna Fi Lailahul Qad, in the first rakat, in the second rakat, Surah Hamd, uh, and then second, uh, Surah Hamd, and Inna Atainakal Tafar. Fasalli Rabbika Ban Har Inna Shaniaka Wal Abda. Offer this two rakat salat for your children. You know, Imam Sadiq was offering this salat while he was in Mecca 
had determined Musariat there was a lot of Islam there. But he was concerned about the well beings of his children. And he wanted to make sure that his children are protected and guided and forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now you and I, we know where we are. We know where our children are. The worst place. We are living in the worst place, in the worst uh, time, worst makan, worst Allah is it. So it's important that for uh, the, our well-being of our children to offer this two rakat salat. And the need is that, you know, uh, for the guidance and the forgiveness of my children and grandchildren. Qurbatan lallah, two rakat, two rakat namaz is really, is really highly, highly recommended um, to, to offer this two rakat salat uh, for the well-being of our children and grandchildren. That may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect them, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide them. Uh, most of our children are going to a public school. There's, you know, no, you know we don't, I, don't, I don't think we have Islamic school, but, but you know, most of our children are exposed to all the uh, sinful, we are, we are swimming in the ocean of uh, sin. Everything around us is full of sinful uh, ideologies, so sinful thinking, and all of these things. So inshallah, inshallah, when we are asked, at least we can say, Ya Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, we beg of you, please guide our children that their aqibat becomes khayr. Their end will become khayr. So this is the two yeah. 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 <laughs> no, well, um, you know, uh, we have narrations that from Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, from Sallam, uh, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, you know, uh, the people, companion asked him, Ya Rasulullah, is is a, is uh, is is uh, is a khannas connected to, to you? Uh, he said, yes, but my khannas is Muslim. You know? Yeah, we have some narrations that, uh, you know, if uh, there are some du'as, that if you say after morning salat and maghrib salat, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will assign uh, four angels to you. Or angels to you to protect you. Uh, if we uh, if we are with Quran, uh, uh, you know uh, the uh, uh, the angels will surround us, and uh, and then uh, you know the uh, jinns and shayatin they run away from us, um, and, and 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 this is one hadith, but you know that I'm sure Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's another you know another is that. Uh, is narrated that you know that masumin uh, they have no khannas because they never thought of doing something wrong or sinful acts does not come into their mind. You know, you know this khannas is taken from them and then the angels are assigned to them. Yeah, we know that you know. When a, a, a child is born, a child is born in a state of purity. And, you know, if the hadith says that the angel is there, yes, he's there. But, you know, uh, now, uh, if, if it, it, then it's up to us to be able to, um, to have angels around us or shaitan around us. Normally, if there are angels around us, you smell a beautiful perfume. When the shayatin are around us, we feel, uh, we smell a bad smell, really bad smell. If you smell something really bad around you, 
then you know the shayatin are around you. If you see the you know good good ads, good perfume aroma around you, that you know the angels are around you there. So, so this is something that yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 One is okay. Now, number one, what Emma Maria Isatos has said that you know, the first look, which is accidental, there's no gonna. There's no sin. But if you second time looking is a gona. So th this is it. So it's not like that. You, you looked at accidentally, then you look at again, and that you are no, that's not like that. The accidental look is gona, but after that you need to stop. Uh, and you know, always, you know, uh, I, I try to tell myself, you know, Bozu Absarako. You know, I, I just tell you know, you know, ayyahal ladin amanu qozu abstarakum. So I, I always you know try to lower my gaze and do not look. And I keep always telling myself, you know, when I go out, I go to the store, something like that. You know, I just keep telling to myself, you know, ayyahal ladin amanu qozu abstarakum. Just you know, keep your lower your gaze. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. And then, so by saying that. A verse of Quran, I am negating the the evil nafs. I'm already knows he's I'm opposing that evil nafs. Then I'm I'm not gonna be looking at. I'm not gonna be looking at. So that gives us power. You get power, you know, with, you know, you you over you can overcome, you will overcome your Hawaiian nafs, you you overcome the shayateen through verse of Quran. Because shayateen do not like to hear Quran. One of the one of the you know one of the things that shayatin really uh, uh, hate and they don't want to hear uh, that you know all you ayal kafirun all who Allah had all auzu berab bel falak all auzu berab bel nas especially especially is all auzu berab bel falak. There is something there that it protects you. From all of their, uh, their, all of their doings, all the magic, everything that put around you, you can negate them. With the word "awuzu berab bel falak min sharr ma falak min sharr khasir tawbat min sharr nafasat tawbat min sharr khasir ida hafat." That you know is unbelievable. They do not like to hear that. And if you say that, sometimes you hear them. They said, "Do no, don't say that, don't say that, don't say that," because they cannot hear it because it nullifies, nullifies all the plots and plans and everything that they put around you. It just as if just like you know, uh, uh, it cuts away the net of uh, that uh, Satan that uh, that pulls over our head or around our neck. You know, it just tears it apart. Yeah. So this needs to be done morning, evening when you go to sleep. A lot of time when we go to sleep, they attack us. Sometimes when we are asleep, we're going to sleep. Sometimes there are uh, hundreds or thousands of them. They come to uh, they come to uh, attack us. One of the things that I highly recommend to you is that this is the this is my personal experience with Eblis. Okay, you know I have a ring. In my ring says Allah. Muhammad Ali Fatima Hassan Hussein and Iblis Iblis told told that as long as I wear this ring I cannot get close to him and try to always have wuzu 
wuzu 99% of the time to have wuzu. Make sure you have wuzu before you go to sleep. You know, one of the, if you want to be healthy, Imam Ali, peace be upon him, said, if you want to be healthy, just listen to me. It's very easy. It's easy. He said, if you want to be healthy, before you go to sleep, go discharge waste from your body. And try that. If you want to be healthy, waste, discharge waste for your body, get your wuzu, then you uh, say three times, Qul huwa Allah had, qul awuzu bi rabbil fala, qul awuzu bi rabbil nas, say that, and below, and just touch all your, you know, your body and, 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 and face, and then also try to sleep on your right hand, right? Make sure your right hand is beneath your right face, and that's how you need to go to sleep. And make sure you get this ring. And make sure you always have wuzu. It's protection. You know, this is, this is a direct, Allah is, you know, that's why, you know, aqil, it's a sunnah to wear aqil, ring of aqil, always have aqil. Have it in your right hand. It's better to have it in your right hand. So always try to have it in your right hand. You know, it's always better. No, not left hand. You would always have it in your right hand. So these are the ways, you know, there are ways and means and power Allah subhanahu has given us in Quran that we can use them to overcome our evil nafs. But evil nafs is a test. Why Allah subhanahu has created uh, 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 this test is in order to, to, to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you need to negate Hawaiian nafs, you need to negate shaitan. That's why we say, La ilaha illallah. So we say that we need to, we need to, we need to pr practice that. And we can overcome them. Uh, and we, they, they, because they do not, you know, they, they do not, uh, they do not, uh, uh, can, uh, can hear Quran. They cannot hear Quran. But the Quran they, that, you know, is a real Quran. Not the Quran that sometimes we read. Sometimes the Quran we read is no good because we just read it. If you want to read the Quran sometime, the, you know, one of the best way of reading Quran is to memorize Quran. Even short surahs. If you sit down, you know, just one short surah, if you mem sit down for 10, 15, 20 minutes to memorize that surah, then you can say, I've read the Quran. Because I sink in. If you read the Quran and you do not change, when we started reading the Quran, it means that we have not read the Quran. If you offer Salat and the Salat did not prevent you from bad deeds, that means your Salat is not good. You know, Quran says, Fasana, Fasana, Faqulu lil-nasi husna wa aqimu salat wa atu zakat. If you're not able to talk to people in good manner, with ihsan, that means you're, there's a problem with your salat and zakat. Yeah, this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala us. Qulu linnas husna. Aqimu salat wa atu zakat. If your aqimu salat and your atu zakat is complete, then you will say to people, Husna. You say to your wife, Husna. You say to your mom and dad, Aulan Karima. But if your salat is not accepted, there's a hole in your salat, there's a hole in your zakat, you won't be able to talk to people in good manner. That, this is Quran, these are the tests, these are the meanings of that we are missing. You know, we read Husna wa Aqimu Sakat, Sadaq Allah al Yazim, close the Quran with not. No, these are you know they got the, uh, the these are deep there are deep meaning. If you think about these verses, then it comes to you. 
and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to analyze yourself, understand. You know, you know, for example, you know, if you do not pay your zakat, your salat is not accepted. If you do not offer salat, your zakat is not accepted. And if your salat and zakat are accepted, in the salat, tanha, and in fahshah, wal munkar, right? If we cannot stop from your hands from haram, if we cannot stop your hands from hurting somebody, if you cannot stop your hands, you don't have the spiritual power to hold back, to hold your tongue, to hold your eyes. It means what? There is some issue, deficiency with your salat and zakat. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help all of us to really understand the, uh, the, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us in the Quran. What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us in the Quran that you know, we quickly read them and don't understand them and we don't think about them in the Quran. So these are, you know, this is called tapakkur, tapakkur, tapakkur. You know, do tapakkur, the best thing we can do is tapakkur fi uh, ayat Quran. You know, there's two tapakkur we cannot do. One is uh, uh, do not do tafakkur fi uh, thought of Allah, on the person of Allah, so do not do tafakkur. And the other one is do not do tafakkur for committing sin. Never start thinking that you're going to do something wrong to somebody. But do tafakkur in doing good deeds. You know, if you do tafakkur, you will see. So who, uh, mom said, uh, mom said, whoever does tafakkur, he will see. He will see the light. He will see the truth. Tafakkur. Tafakkur. So, inshallah. Okay, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, no, I, no, I, I, I won't. Yeah. Yes. Well, you know, uh, uh, it's it's one, uh, uh, and that's very good what Imam Ali Salam has said. You know that we need to look at our children because you know there there's a, there are new technologies. Uh, there's there's a ways and means of new communications. Uh, there are so many discoveries, and uh, and uh, that you know we can see that. So number one is that you know is uh, to make sure uh, our children. You know, yeah, they have to play, but you know, uh, they we can encourage them uh, to do the things that are good for them. For example, you know, uh, uh, riding horses or swimming or 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 uh, shooting uh, or you know, pl uh, playing soccer, uh, playing basketball, all of those things that is good for their. Uh, uh, body and and gives them uh, you know uh, some happiness is allowed okay, no. but at the same time you say yeah you can play basketball you can play soccer but when it comes to time salad when an azan is called 
in salat. Stop everything, offer salat. So gather everybody to offer salat. So we want to make sure that, you know, that, that whatever our children want to do is beneficial to them. If something that some of these games uh, that are destructive to their minds, that we should stop them from doing that. You know, not every game is good game, you know, but sport is good. Doing act sporting activity is good. You know, if they like basketball, let them play basketball, no problem. Playing volleyball, play volleyball. Uh, you know, so all of those are, are, are good and good, but you know, but they need to understand that, you know, this is good because, you know, but do, you know, do the, the uh, also the watch about, you know, offer your salat, you know, encourage him to read the Quran, uh, you know, give them gift. Uh, if you know they memorize one verse of Quran, uh, it's good. But do not force them to be like similar to somebody else. I mentioned that's very important that you know we need to understand our children and understand their capacities, understand their talent, understand what are they good at. Not everybody can become a doctor. Not everybody can become an engineer. Uh, you know, everybody's got different talent. You know, some, some people are very good with their hands. If they're good with hands, you know, they can become a good carpenter. Uh, some people are, you know, they have, you know, they're good with the computer. They can fix computer. Encourage them to go in, go in that field, then, then, then the computer. So see what your children are good at and let them de develop in the, in the areas that they're good at. You know, uh, you know not, uh, not everybody wants to become like their parents. You know, although a lot of parents like to see their children to become what they are, but some that's not possible. Sometimes they don't like that. You know, you know, if somebody doesn't want to, you know, become a, you know, engineer or doesn't become a doctor or doesn't become decent, that's okay. Let them do who, what they want to be. But as long as it's halal, as long as it's, uh, uh, you know, Islamically allowed, those are the things is good there. So, th so they, that's where the art comes in. And that's uh, where the modara comes in, to, to be patient and analyze and understand your children and, and do that thing. And, uh, and I mentioned, I guess it was this morning again, again, do not ever tell, uh, to, to, to do not ever threaten your children that you're going to kick them out of the house. Don't ever say that to your children. Don't ever say that. It's very important that, you know, always... You know, uh, don't get mad at your children. You know, sometimes we get mad and stuff like that. But don't do that. Just, you know, if they do something wrong, you know, uh, understand if it's a little child, they made mistakes, and you explain to him, okay, what you did was wrong, my son, but please do not do it again, you know. And one thing is don't ever, 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 ever hit your children. You will regret it. Never, ever hit your children. Don't slap him. Don't hit them. Hold your hands because you will regret. You th that hitting puts you into shame that as they grow up that you, you remember why did I do that? Thing? And I put you in shame. So never ever hit your children. Never, never ever do that. You know, that leaves a really bad impression I in them for a long, long time. Long, long time. You know, maybe, you know, b when we were kids, you know, some, you know, some, the, the parents, uh, they, they hit the children. That's, was not, that's not good. That's really not good. So, so it takes a lot of wisdom. It, and, and all of this wisdom and understanding, everything comes in. If I, as a father, if I, as a mother, am a pious person, if as a father and mother, my salat and zakat and all of those things are good and accepted, then I can control my hands, then I can control my tongue, you know, then I can become a good guide for my children. So some, a lot of time, it's not the children's fault for what they're doing wrong. It is our parents who are a bad example for them. If you know, you've seen the guy who smokes cigarette, 
and said to his son, do not smoke cigarette. You see a guy who sleeps for Salat, the time of Salat, the love of Salat, and that. You see a person who drinks alcohol, he said to his son, do not drink alcohol. He said to his son and daughter, do not lie, but he lies. If you're that kind of parents, you're not a good parent. And if you didn't go astray, it's all your fault. Because you were not a role model for them. You know, yeah, Islamic school is about like, you know, six or eight hours. But another six or eight hours or ten hours, they're in your home. They, they look at you and they follow you. So you'll be a good example for them. For be a good model for your children. That's the best thing you could do that. If you can watch TV all, all night and tell your children do not watch, go to sleep, it's wrong. You can't do that. You know, you know, do, you know, leave, you know, leave as a as a good model for your children. If you get up for salat al layl at night time, and if your children see that, and they will do that later, don't force them now, but they will do that later. They because they see you. You know, and many times I saw my father when I was a child. I was half asleep. But uh, when my father would get up for Salat al I would see him and I would hear him. But I wouldn't do that, didn't do that. But that left the impression on me that my father is a good father. You know, he gets up to offer Salat, but he never forced us. As an, but living as an example, be a good mo role model in, uh, in, in our situations to your children. That's the best way, that's the best education that you can give your children. And then the next thing is just make sure you don't, you don't give your eight hours a day your children to the hands of Kofar and Mushrik and, uh, and, the, and the sinners and expect them to come back home uh, as, a, as, a, as a Muslim child. It won't happen. Those, those bad teachers, those bad friends will affect them. Just affects us. So, inshallah, may help us, inshallah. It, it's, we got a lot of duties, we got a lot of responsibilities, but, but uh, seek the knowledge uh, help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So try to walk on the right path, but always seek the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, always seek the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But try to walk, but always ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help you. This is, this is what the command of Allah. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there. Inshallah. Say salawat al-Quran. Allah Muhammad, inshallah. We can do sal uh, salam. First, we can do salam, inshallah. اللهم أنت السلام ومنك السلام ولك السلام فإليك يعود السلام سبحان ربك رب العزة عم يسلم السلام على المرسلين الحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليك أيها النبي ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام على الحادين المحسوسين السلام على جميع أنبياء الله ورسله والملائكة السلام علينا وعلى عباد الله الصالح السلام على علي أمير المؤمنين السلام على فاطمة الزهراء سيدة النساء العالمين السلام على خديجة الكبرى السلام على زينب الكبرى السلام على أم كلثوم بنت أمير المؤمنين السلام على آمنة بنت وحاب السلام على فاطمة بنت أسد السلام على أم البنين السلام على الحسن والحسين سيد شباب أهل الجنة أجمعين السلام على علي بن الحسين زين العابدين السلام على محمد بن علي باغ علم النبيين السلام على جعفر بن محمد الصادق السلام على موسى بن جعفر القادم السلام على علي بن الصادق السلام على محمد بن علي الجواد 
السلام على علي بن محمد الهادي السلام على الحسن بن علي الزكي الاسكري السلام على حجت ابن الحسن القائم محمود الله ما شاء الله علیه که من بهتره دیگه السلام على جعفر ابن ابي طالب تيار السلام على حمزه ابن عبد المطلب سید شهدا العالمین السلام على عباس ابن ابي القمر بن هاشم السلام على اولاد امير المؤمنين و اصحاب امير المؤمنين السلام على اولاد الحسن و اصحاب الحسن السلام على اولاد الحسين و اصحاب الحسین صلوات الله علیهم اجمعین